Stangle Nerd here. Uh, today, I'm not nerding out about anything in particular. Um, it's been a slow week. I had to go back to work. So, no ammo hunting or or anything like that. Um, I don't know, basically ran out of content, I guess. <laughs> um, I've had friends suggest to me that um, I should have a guitar channel. As you can see, I like I like to play guitar, but um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about that. I don't think I can do that because I don't, I don't know. It just seems incestuous for me to have a guitar channel because I basically learned how to play guitar from watching YouTube videos, um, and so it doesn't seem right to turn around and you know put you know guitar tutorials up. So I don't see that in my future, um, but maybe um, I'll, I can incorporate, you know, some some guitar at the, you know, like the intros of my videos. We'll see. Um, let me know what you think. You know, if it's a good idea or not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, as you know, I'm kind of waiting for my um, Sig uh, M18 uh, airsoft pistol. So I got everything for it. I got all the green gas, the CO2, uh, extra CO2 mags. I got the the BBs. I got the pellets. So pretty much have all the bells and whistles for it. Just don't have the gun. So it, it should have been here by now, but um, I got a notice from Sportsman's Guide that it's been back ordered. So maybe a couple more weeks. It says in like the middle of April. So, so in the meantime, um, I've just been looking at the, these are the CO2 mags. Um, so the cartridges go in here. This thing goes out. And then they got this thing hanging out. This is where the actual pellets go. But um, I don't know. I can't. This doesn't fit into any of my holsters, the mag carriers. So. And then you got this thing. So I think I'm going to have to make my own um, mag pouch. So that's probably what I I will do. I'm not sure how it's going to work with this thing. But um you know, I, I do I need it probably not. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to be practicing, you know, like any kind of speed reloads cuz this thing has a a high potential for for breakage. But um I might I, I might try to make a make a carrier, mag carrier for that. Okay, so I thought I would try to maybe repurpose this. This was a, one of the failed attempts from an earlier holster. Um, so I, yeah, I thought I would just heat it up and maybe use that. It should be it should be enough to cover what I need. So now it's just. Uh, Got to tape this all up and then um, figure out how I'm going to block it. I need to <clears throat> have a piece for maybe where the clip, you have to leave room for the, the clip. And I'm not sure. But.
All right, guys, this is kind of what it looks like. I put a little dimple here to coincide with this little slot, this little hole. And that's, <clears throat> that's where the retention is going to come from because I don't really have any uh, retention screws. I just put, I just put rivets here and I figured I'll just put this little divot there. But, um, it clicks in, it's secure. This is, this is the only clip I had left. Um, I need to order more supplies, more Kydex, but from my original order, this is a, it's a really piece of crap, but I figure it's good enough for just holding the mag to my belt when I'm training in the backyard. So, uh, everything's too, too good, but it'll wear down a little bit the more you do it. I guess too much is better than not enough. So yeah, that's kind of the way it turned out. I know it's not a, it's not great, but you know, it's not bad for an amateur, I guess. It kind of got a little bit overcooked here, but no matter. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's my uh, mag, <laughs> mag pouch.